We start with the puzzle. When a firework rocket explodes at the top of its flight, what is the total momentum of all the exploded fragments? The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this nothing nerdy lesson on explosions. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. In the previous lesson we looked at collisions. This time you have to understand the changes in momentum and energy when an explosion occurs. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. As you see, there are four categories. The last one is the opposite of a collision, it's an explosion. Total momentum and energy in an isolated explosion do not change, but the kinetic energy does. It will increase. Explosions are a special case of collisions in physics. We can apply the principle of conservation of momentum to them, and we can calculate any change in kinetic energy. In an explosion, one object breaks into two or more, and the kinetic energy will increase from zero if it is initially stationary. The source of the kinetic energy will be inside the exploding object, maybe burning chemicals or a force doing work. Explosions in physics take many forms. For example, when someone throws a ball, the forward momentum the ball gains is equal and opposite to the momentum gained by the thrower. Often we don't notice this because friction stops the thrower from recoiling. It is, however, observable in space. Here is a typical example. The astronaut is floating in space but wants to move. He can only do this if an external force is exerted on him, for example by an object he throws away from him. In this example, the astronaut is wearing a jetpack which ejects fast-moving gas. The astronaut, along with his kit, has a mass of 240 kilograms and is pushed towards the moon with a velocity of 3 meters per second. The ejected gas has a mass of 1.4 kilograms. It can be treated as an isolated system so that we know that momentum before the explosion is the same as that afterwards. And since the astronaut was not moving, his initial momentum is zero. Afterwards, both objects are moving in opposite directions. Momentum is a vector so that we know that the two momenta in opposite directions must be equal and opposite so that the total is still zero. We find that the velocity of the gas was minus 510 meters per second. The minus sign tells us it travels at the opposite direction to the astronaut and therefore away from the moon. And here, if you want to test your skills, is a challenge. Kinetic energy has been produced. The kinetic energy of a lighter object in this situation is more than that of the heavier object. In this case, 170 times. Can you prove this? There are two bodies, their initial velocity is zero, and then when they separate, they, one has a velocity of big V and the other has a velocity of little v. We know that their momentum in any collision or explosion must stay the same, whereas the momentum has increased from zero. So the answer is D. Here is the solution to the puzzle. If the firework went straight up at the top of its flight, its momentum is instantaneously zero. When it explodes, the fragments go in all directions, but the vector sum of their momenta is zero. Or, if the firework were traveling in a parabola, at the top of its flight it would be moving horizontally, and the total momentum will be due to that motion. In fact, Disregarding the effects of air resistance, the centre of mass of the explosion will continue to travel along the parabola of the firework's motion.